Good evening everyone, hope you're all well, or oh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good night, whichever applies. <laughs> um, we're going to be on tonight is Clifford Martin again, um, so I'm just going to have to do the old instancing chat and stuff just to make sure, see what's going on with um, With the instancing and logging in and whether we're gonna get on a server and stuff properly or what the situation is so we're just having a little look on the instancing channel at the moment I think uh, it's all looking a bit let's just check to make sure we're not yeah well, I don't think we're instanced so I think We'll just hold on for five minutes or so and just see see if it comes through and uh, connects properly. But yeah, I hope everyone out there is uh, is feeling good and is all well today. So um, I'm just going to periodically just check. I don't know if has Clifford shrunk overnight or something. He seems a little bit. I don't know actually. No, maybe not. Just comparing myself to the height of that. But yeah, 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 Clifford Martin, back again. We are. Uh, I just have a wander over here to the houses, see what's going on. Yeah, so they're still saying to stand by on server two. So I don't know what we are waiting for who we are waiting for maybe it's uh, maybe it's me could be my problem but as far as i know we're um we're just soft instance by the looks of this we'll know soon enough as soon as you start hearing npcs and horses and shit milling around then you know you're kind of all right but uh yeah we just have to wait for a moment Yeah, we made um, made good progress the other day, and um, managed to uh, managed to buy our wagon, um, or not wagon, stagecoach. But um, yeah, essentially we're um, we're not going to use it until such time as I kind of feel like we've earned enough money, if you see what I mean, with uh, with Clifford to be able to just go. Yeah, let's. Uh, want to come and have a look at the wagon and, <laughs> and everyone's gonna be like what you've already got one I don't really want to like ruin that if you see what I mean for, uh, for other people so for the purposes of um, this at the time being we're not gonna just say oh yeah I've got myself a wagon and stagecoach and I'm ready to go when you are kind of thing it's uh, gonna take a little bit longer in that sense but it's there, if you see what I mean. It's there in the background. There's still a lot of people, I think, um, fairly new to the server, still getting to grips with how the instancing and stuff works when you're rejoining at the restarts. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it will get um, merged in a minute. So I could hear an NPC or something just then, but um, I was imagining things. <laughs> Some of the questions. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, I can't. I don't think I could be an admin. Um, it would just annoy the shit out of me. Like people just, yeah. I 
I think we've got to relog. By the looks of it, because um, they're obviously having problems. Hopefully, we're not going to lose our spot, but. like another five minutes well not five minutes but you know, another couple of minutes no let's just let's just try it now hopefully we'll get back in with that. People should be, well, we're, we're one of those two in, um, two temps. You see what I mean there? So hopefully we haven't lost our spot. Yeah, everyone's starting to chat the same now, saying I'm instanced on two and da da da. -da. Hopefully, here we go. Yeah, we're joining. Fingers crossed it will be, um, be back in in a moment. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. It's um, it's always a little bit of a bum rush. Everyone trying to get in all at the same time. Obviously, the problems mount up sometimes for the server, so people are trying to spam, connect, and everything to get in on time. And then there's people that don't watch the instancing chat or whatever, so like they don't know that they're hard instance and so on. And then, yeah. If you're that guy that gets hard instanced or um, whatever, it's um, and you're sat there in <laughs> in the server, it's basically stopping everyone from being able to merge and being able to like actually have a have a server properly. If you see what I mean, um, it seems like even server one has still got issues at the minute because I'm seeing screenshots of that going by and saying, "Yeah, I've only got like six people in there. We haven't had a full merge." Blah blah blah. So let's just check again. Are we not instanced? But well, we are. <laughs> We're still soft instanced, but we are. Um... Uh, what server is this? Yeah, it's it's just frustrating. That um, yeah, no one's saying which server they're in and stuff like that. Which one's which? And you log if you do not have a lobby. See, I've already relogged now, and they tell you to only relog once, and then they sort of work their way through the numbers. I think to try and get people connected. That sounded positive. No, it didn't. <laughs> the the neighing of a horse always makes me think like yeah we're good we're good to go it's fine fuck it we're live live <laughs> it's all good on s3 <laughs> it's just the luck of the draw but some of the servers sometimes it will be like bing and you get straight in other times it's like you can be waiting like 10 minutes or so 15 minutes even before it all sort of sinks back up and everyone's back in together and able to role play again so yeah, at the moment, I'm afraid, guys, it's just a little bit of a waiting game. I'm just going to alt-tab quickly to scroll up on this, just to see where, which server they were talking about. Hmm. Uh, no, 
damage on three. Da -da -da -da. S3 cells. Yeah, it's kind of looking a little bit um, like server two is struggling today. As I say, there's not really much we can do at the moment. Just got to hope that it all sort of sinks back up and that there's a merge in the next little while. Whenever I hear that horse neighing, I'm like, yeah, that's it. We're in. It's, it's go time. Clifford Martin, back again. But we're going we gonna to have a good time tonight, hopefully. We are uh, just going to do a little bit of walking around here and hope that uh, things go right. Get ourselves in and... Yeah, it's just alt tab again because I can't see. Yeah, it does sound like both server one and server two are having issues. It's still not had a full merge, and server two's had no merge. So. Hmm. Stand by on two. Stand by. Standing by. There was a pig stood right next to me for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> Where you come from, boy? Screens shot of server three if you need it. I think you're good, mate. Like, <laughs> just cloud in the waters, boys. Hey, look at that. Doobie's in. Kato's in as well, which is nice. That's good to see. Coolidge glidings, yeah, jams in as well. There's a few people that we know, well, out of character and in character kind of thing, obviously, but we know Monroe. Um, right, let's do a quick load skin because I always like to just do that so that um, we are looking correct. Uh, do we want to put? Oh yeah, no, we've already got the uh, already got the spurs on. There we go. Yeah, things are moving along. Right. So let's um just alt tab for one last time so that I've got both sorry it's gonna go black again. There we go. Um so now we've got both um the chat and um the game visible and we'll just mosey into town. Um might as well call Lucky in. Got to find a saddle that I like for this horse as well. But um, it's not going to be really a um, like a fancy saddle or anything like that. But yeah, I don't know if there's anything else that might sort of fit um, a little bit better in that sense, or make it you know sort of not blend in, but you know sort. Of feel a little bit more like it belongs on Lucky, apart from just the standard saddle. It's not a bad saddle, but... Fine day to you. Fine day to you, sir. Yeah, that's... Nice afternoon, actually. You're gonna get dusty over here in uh, roads again, but uh, that's always the way. Here, yeah, actually, there's a uh, action we can do now called wipe and uh, it replaces wash so uh, you can kind of dust yourself down it's quite good uh, 
not having to do that whole wash thing and uh, you know reload your reload your clothes. I think that's been a full merge then by the looks of it. Oh, Kuda's got in as well, that's good. Don't know if Chansu's got on today or if she's getting on at all. I know she was um, RPing a bit earlier with um, with Kuda on Callahan and uh, Miss Snyder, so I don't know if she's um, done for the day and retired and gone to bed or, um, or what the situation is, but we'll go over and um, We'll have a little check on uh, the saloon in a moment. I don't know actually how much money I've got in the bank. I think I've only got like five bucks. I'd kind of like to get a little bit more in that sense, but it's not really essential. A little check. I think that was Doobie walking along towards us there. Theodore. Gotta be, uh, gotta remember to be in character. Yeah, we only have uh, five bucks right now. Oh man, we, uh, we're gonna have to earn ourselves a little bit of money. Have to uh, maybe do a couple of deliveries or something for that lady over in Valentine. If, uh, Is TV. Oh, Hello. you are right there, Cliff. Yeah, not too bad, uh, Theodore. How uh, how about uh, yourself today? Yeah, not too bad actually. Not too oh, bad. It's good to hear. Bank good to hear. Well, yeah, I was uh, just seeing how much money I don't have, you know. Yeah, I'm about to do the same actually. Yeah, well, uh, I mean. Um, I need to need to sort of keep it all safe as well, you know, for uh, for that uh, that stagecoach. Uh, but I'm making making a little bit of progress, you know, to uh, toward that. Good, good, mate. Good, good. Any pro uh, progress is progress or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure the uh, the same, Hello. but yeah, I'm, I think you. Uh, I think I know what you're saying. Yeah. I went to uh, fucking Valentine yesterday. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I meant to apologise actually about that. I, I was, uh, I was really, uh, really tired yesterday. So uh, yeah, I, uh, I just, I slept like most of the day, you know. Yeah, it's all right, spouse. Like, nobody turned in, so don't feel bad. You're the only one. Oh right, is, uh, is Penny okay or? Oh uh... uh, well. She's probably okay, yeah, she's probably off getting drunk or something somewhere with her little pals or something. Yeah, she uh, she ain't from over here either, is she? I mean, I know uh, you say you you were from uh, England, is that right? Yeah, 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 I think she is from somewhere. So I didn't ask about her upbringing too much. I think she told me about it, but I didn't ask her, I didn't listen, you know? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Did you, uh... Valentine, did... no, it was, uh, chaotic yesterday. Yeah, it does, uh, does seem to be, uh, be a bit like that, you know, whenever I've been over there. When I was earning money for that, uh, you know, the, the stagecoach and, you know, seeing the lady over there at the, uh, the tents, she, she does the, uh, the delivery missions for, like, $7.00. You know, she she sends me out on the rounds to deliver some parcels and packages and that kind of thing. And every time I go into Valentine, is full of horses, full of people. You know. Howdy, partner. Yeah, someone uh, riding an ass through town yesterday. They uh, they rode a what through uh, through town? An ass, an ass. I just say. Oh ass. right, yeah, 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 like ass, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rowed it right through town. It was uh, making all sorts of noise. Poor thing. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I was riding a mule for a little while. They don't tend to make that kind of noise, but yeah, I know uh, them uh, them asses can be pretty loud, right? Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna get a fucking hour way at the uh, gun shop after the I owe him uh, five dollars, so I'm just gonna get it out so I've got it on me if I see him. Yeah, no problem. I was uh, I was thinking about actually maybe going over to Valentine and you know getting myself a little bit more money in terms of something to uh, spend on you know goods and that kind of thing. I'm not too far away from uh, having the money for. Uh... You alright? Yeah. I'm hey, uh, all right. how, how you doing yourself? that way? Oh, is that you, way? Oh. Yeah, it's my traveling clothes. I was uh, about to get help with the Valentine for some business. Oh, is that right? Uh, let me uh, let me just run in the bank here. I'll get you that five are you? Oh, just give me a moment. I know. Oh, just it's hanging out from me head way. I need to uh, pay you it back. Yeah, you uh, you know what they say, uh, never a lender or a borrower be, yes, man. Right. I think there's an investment, by the way. How you doing, Cliff? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty good. This uh stand out of the way here yeah these uh these locals with their carriages they uh they don't mind uh running a fella over you know what i'm saying especially the dogs i always see around five circuses a day oh yeah I, I can't stand uh animal abuse you know it's uh it's no good at all all right you got that money thank you thank you to you yeah, my pleasure, mate. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'll be back in town in a little bit, uh, but right now I need to go on to business for a little while, so I'll see you guys in a second, all right? Yeah, you yeah, take yeah, care uh, of that way. Uh, pass my regards on to Eli if you see him after this. Yeah, will do. I've never seen him outside this shop. He, look, he looks strange. Yeah, he, uh, he was saying it was his traveling clothes. You know, I don't even have a another set of clothes really I mean I think actually maybe that's something I ought to do uh, you know when when we do get to a point where I'm taking people you know on like official business like you know uh, maybe maybe I should have a uh, something a little bit more what's the word like fancy you know yeah yeah a bit more official or something uh, yeah 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 I mean uh, them, them colors. I noticed you, uh, you were wearing red, and Penny was, uh, w was doing the same yesterday or a couple of days ago now. But you think uh, maybe I should do the same, like you know, to. Uh, I've not really decided on a, on a sort of like a uniform, because uh, I was saying to Penny, I don't want a, like a work uniform, but you know, maybe a, a sort of loose dress code that we could all go by just so it looks like just to separate us from the uh customers like but uh i don't know about this red mm -hmm. this shirt sort of you know pissing me off a little bit i did buy a new outfit this morning actually but uh i'm not happy with that either so i don't know just something smart for now if you want to but uh like you know when we do like events and stuff if you if you end up uh, doing security or whatnot for that then you know we could have like a special maybe black tie sort of uh dress code for those and that but i mean oh, right, the stage yeah. couch thing is uh the stage couch thing is practically going to be your business in the way because your any money that you earn through that is going to be yours to keep so i mean it's yours to decide what uh dress couch you have a spouse for that and then maybe you can hire uh, other drivers if you you know if you get elderly busy and, and you'll be the boss there yeah yeah i mean i was thinking maybe you know for for long distance drives and that kind of thing i i probably want something someone there with me you know because I, I don't i don't want to be kind of having to look out for bandits and the road all the time as well you know uh i know there's folks around who uh like to stick a gun in your face you know and uh take uh take your money that's uh that's kind of why i don't really carry anything with me that's you know I was a little bit embarrassed when I came into the uh, the bar the other day, and uh, I'd I'd forgotten to go to the bank. So yeah, I know. But, yeah, I, know. I mean, uh, I don't I don't tend to carry any of my my money with me any any time because uh, 
well, I, you know, my father did a good job of teaching me the value of money, and uh, you know, I don't want it taken away just as I, I'm not a gambling man, you know, so I ain't gonna be giving Shep nothing. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, what we need with uh, RS sometimes is uh, security for all sorts. Let's, uh, let's walk around the saloon. Yeah. Well, let me, uh, if you're not, uh, let me just get lucky, actually. Out, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bring lucky over. Yeah, we definitely need to earn a little bit of money so that we've got something there in the in the background, if you see what I mean. I don't want to be walking around with um, only $5 to our name in a wagon that we're not going to use yet for a little while. <laughs> now maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a couple of deliveries or whatever today and then sort of say, yeah, we've we'll earned a bit of money and got, uh, got enough now. But, yeah, I don't want to... <clears throat> oh, good boy there, Lucky. You stay here, okay? Where where do you go? You go around the front? I think he might have gone through the back. Doing uh, mighty fine today, sir. How are you? I do wish you would no me, for sir. that. Well, I mean, you you just uh, what? no need for what, sir. What is your problem? So I don't have a problem. What uh, what's your problem? Come on! You know you ain't gonna. I think Cliff got it under control. Truly sorry about that. It's all right, everyone. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm yeah, I'm sorry about that. He uh he he followed me in from uh from outside there, Theodore. I I, I don't mean to cause no problems for you. Uh, it's all right, mate. She was an asshole. Don't worry. <laughs> that guy got dealt with. <laughs> A little bit of uh, fighting I did on um. I, I went on Red Dead Redemption 2 online last well, night, a, well, a couple of days ago. And, don't yeah. put him on the bar. We need to put him on display so they know no, what don't. happens to the arrogant folk like him. No, uh, just like throw him. his just throw his stupid ass outside, man. Uh, we don't need no reminder of what kind of idiots we have around here. Put him out of sight, out of back, let him wake up later on. Think about what he's done. If we put yeah, him go, on display, go put him in the stable then. out the back there. Well, I'm sure another one will crawl out of the woodwork. Yeah, we'll get the same. Well done there, uh, Cliff, on uh, setting the example of these fucking low lives around here. Yeah, I mean, he uh, he started, so you know, following me, and then I, I said I don't have no problem with you, and he started, you know, acting like he wanted something more, and uh, I was saying, look, my friend, I'm, I'm not really here to have a fight with you, but uh, he obviously wanted something more than that, so just had to uh, lay down the law, as they say. Yeah, I was right. But, uh, yeah, kind of, uh, 
it, it, it'll stop happening so people realize that this is seeing the Valentine saloon. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people uh, seem to treat the uh, treat the staff around here and the, the people, you know, when I've been living here, you know, they sort of treat everyone with uh, some sort of uh, chip on their shoulder, you know? That's right, yeah. Everyone's got a chip on the shoulder for you. Well, at least uh, not everybody got scared off by that. I just was trying not to hit, you know, other other patrons, and you know, uh, Shep kind of was getting kind of mighty close. I nearly uh, nearly swung at him when I was trying to get hold of that guy. I don't worry about that. You know, it's just, it's, it's all part of the job. If he gets it, he gets it. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. He understands, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I suppose I'll fucking clean all these tables in. You uh, you want me to clear up some of the uh, the mess over here? I did That's kind of right, uh, right. kind of slam his head into this. Uh, this pillar right here. Oh, I don't think you've uh, uh, done any damage at all. It's all right. No, I think most of the damage was done to his head. You know. <laughs> yeah, survivor like it. Yeah, I mean it's it's inevitable. It's a place of uh, that sells alcoholic beverages. So you're gonna get uh, now people thinking that the the local era or whatever, but. Just gotta be firm on it like you was. Cause uh, at, at some point in the future this is gonna be a bustling um centre of entertainment here. People come from far and wide, I tell you. Yeah, well I I hope so for your sake and you know my sake as well, because I mean if that's the if that's the case then you know I'll be uh bringing the people over here hopefully from other places maybe we'll have to uh when i do get my stagecoach we'll have to ride past uh my father's place and he can see me driving instead of uh someone else you know yeah yeah shove it right in his face if that's what you want well you know just to show him i'm actually uh Making something of myself instead of just uh, carrying on with the old pig farming, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi there, good looking. Hey, well, I was thinking uh, concerning your driving and that, we could, uh, when, you know, after opening nights happened, when we've got a bit established in that, we can uh, start like advertising for. Drinks deliveries, you know, if people want to um, send us a telegram with the location and how much booze they want, we could send you out on the stagecoach, maybe take a chef here <coughs> if you're willing to provide security until we get someone proper. And then, uh, you know, whatever money they pay, that, uh, then, you, you know, that's yours. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd probably need somebody who uh, maybe has like a shotgun or something like that if i was uh was going to be doing that i mean i'm i'm planning on doing that also for uh for when i do actually have the uh the stagecoach you know uh i think probably i need something just to uh maybe just to you know frighten people off a little bit maybe not yeah, to yeah. uh not to make myself seem like a, an easy target you know i don't want to get robbed of the stagecoach and you know, have nothing to defend myself with apart from, uh, you know, the, the Lamat I have here. I mean, the only reason I got the Lamat really is uh, I kind of felt like I needed something out on the road. I don't carry cash with me any time, but, you know, uh, you never can be too careful if uh, one of the locals decide to uh, try their luck 
you know, like that guy. And I'm instead of uh, fist fighting, he's he's pulling out a gun. But yeah, dirty bastards. Yeah, I don't understand what their uh, their problem with me is. Sometimes, you know, it seemed like uh, seemed like they kind of single me out. I don't know if it's like they feel intimidated because I'm tall or whatever, but it's probably it, mate. Yeah. It just reminds me, actually. Let me, uh, excuse me a moment. Oh yeah, no problem. With a fellow like you, Cliff, I'm sure it's your height that's the problem. Yeah, I, I think that's probably it, to be honest with you, Chef. Can't be nothing else. <laughs> Is it raining outside, Cliff? Uh, I ain't sure, actually. Uh, I think it's just dark, my friend. Why, uh... Why do, do you... Do you not like the rain or something? What's, uh... Oh, maybe it is raining, actually. I just hear thunder. Uh, I'll walk through the rain for no man. I mean, it's, you know, I actually quite like the rain. It's pretty, uh, pretty good on my, uh, feels good on the back, you know. Especially if you're riding and you, you're, you're sweating and, you know, the water just like pouring down you. Actually, it feels quite nice, like cooling you off. I think it's loud and you can't hear what's about to happen next. Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, those thunderclaps can get, get pretty loud, you know, but, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's not so bad, you know, I actually quite like a good storm, it clears the air, you know. You're right again. Well, this is just a uh, no time take. Do that quite often. I'm not with. Mm hmm. So uh, add, add to the list of creepy things that you do, I suppose. Creepy things? What do you mean by creepy things? Oh, I'm just winding you up. I'm just uh, filling the void. So what uh, What did you say? Did you yesterday shit? Fuck all. <laughs> well, I was right here. Shep don't leave town. He barely ever leaves the saloon. Well, I didn't see you around here. I may or may not have fingered a few bottles of beer and passed out somewhere, if I remember correctly. I, hang on, you did what? I may or may not have found some beer laying around and, well, I drank it on <laughs> such an occasion. Just drinking the beer. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Drinking straight from the bar, not paying. <laughs> Uh, I ain't got a smoke. Yeah, I got one. Uh, I got one here for you. That'll be a dollar piece. A whole dollar. A whole dollar. dollar yeah, that's <laughs> that's even a discount. A whole dollar. See a dollar fifty usually. All right. Shit, the cheapskate. <laughs> you end it out first. You pie first. I 
I got him. Come around. Come and get your bum in. Oh, just give me a dollar. Just give me a dollar. I was a fake clip, I steal it. You trust him with your money? What? Yeah. Why would I steal My his money? Boy. Thank you, eventually. Give me some old cigarette bud from under the table. What are you doing down there? You just gotta find them, that's all I'm just trying to find them. I need some, uh, I need some more, uh, barmaids and white shoes. Now anybody? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sure Shep here would look good in a, in a dress. Yeah, regardless of that, he's, uh, he's shit with people, so, yeah, it's a no-no, unfortunately. What's the matter? You run a little penny off already? I like her. Yeah, well, I like her as well, but she uh, she don't like turning up to work, apparently. Second day in a row. That was your recommendation, wasn't it, shit? Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah, difficult. You don't treat her very nice, though. She don't treat me very nice, does she? That's someone walking in the back there, or uh, want me to check someone that out for you? Here. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. And that was upstairs. People come and go from that balcony all the time. Lou in there? Anybody in? I heard some weird grunting out here the other day. Mm hmm. In the back store, stairs balcony. Uh, there's no one in that room anyway. What the fuck? Well, <laughs> I didn't break that, but apparently it um, it smashes when you walk close to it. So <laughs> I don't know if that's. Uh... Ten minutes ago, your coffee would have been cold by now, but we were still having the conversation when it was piping hot. I think. How to oh, handsome? Yeah. No, I don't think I'm rich. Evening there, ma'am. Well, Why howdy now. folks want this job if you don't? What, uh, what job is that, sir? Oh, okay. You, uh, you don't have work for me, I guess. Well, yeah, you're, you're excused. Don't make me have to do what I did to that last guy, man. Yeah, you, you lean back against that wall right there. Hello there. Mm. 
now. What? Everything all right, Chris? I take it. Yeah, I uh, I can't find nobody out there. I checked the uh, the bedroom back there on the uh, on the right hand side, but uh, I walked around and there was no one in there, and walked upstairs and nobody up there. A couple of spiky patrons, though, you know. Again, a few people with a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, they they are uh, ships customers in up there. Yeah, it's a different different uh, class up there. Yeah, yeah it makes great. sense. You had any uh, customers in ship? Ah, uh, there's had a few upstairs. The same ones it's referring to. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, gonna have the rest of this coffee on the porch. Excuse me, love. So, Cliff, what do you think of this new job with your new employer? He's really special, ain't he? I mean, he he a pretty nice guy, you know, Theodore. He, you know, he's uh, he's offering me some work when I got myself my uh, my stagecoach, but I'm not I'm not there yet, you know. I don't have uh, I don't have the coach or nothing, so I can't really uh, can't really afford, you know, give him the 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 type of work he he's requiring I think right now but once I get that uh, that side of things squared away then you know uh, I think we'll be good you know it'd be a good partnership I think you know I'll bring people in here and you know he he'll, he'll get the uh, the benefit having more customers here you know paying customers and he'll uh, you know help me or uh, you know, earn a bit. I mean, he's saying anyway. Anyone that I bring over here on on my uh, my coach is going to be, uh, you know, my my money. You know, clean and clear. So really, he, you know, he's kind of a I suppose a destination I can bring people to. But yeah, I mean, he's he's offered me uh, a little bit of security work, and hopefully dealing with that guy earlier, maybe uh, you know, prove I can uh, handle myself when needs be. He's got a real charm to him, don't he? Really nice to folk. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, you know, he seemed, uh, seemed pretty good. I mean, he, he's treating me with, uh, you know, respect, and I, I always appreciate that. Wish I could say the same, but it's good he's treating you with some respect. Well, you know, I work on the theory I'll uh, I'll treat people how they're treating me in that sense. So, uh, you know, if someone like Theodore is uh, treating me good and, you know, keeping me, uh, keeping me around and feels that I can help him out and offer him something, then, you know, I'm going to do the same. You know, I feel like uh, I owe people that much. You know, they give you a chance in life, you, you, you should do the same. Oh, there's a player there at the bar. That's nice. Oh, well, I hadn't uh, planned on spending any, any money, sir. I, I was just passing through. <laughs> I hadn't planned on spending Sorry, any money right? because yeah, yeah. it's sleeping. <laughs> well, uh, this is this is a red mill here. We're a uh, we're a business <clears throat> who are just setting up. Actually, I'm I'm uh, currently are in staff. You know, in all uh, sort of areas and sections. And uh, over the next few oh. weeks, hopefully, uh, we'll have an opening night, which is I'm planning to be a mas masquerade ball and that. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, sorry everyone, I'm just having right. a swig of coffee. Oh, it's gonna yeah, get cold otherwise. <laughs> it does sound like a lot of fun. Yeah, Alpha here is uh, the fellow in the white shirt there. It's Cliff. He's uh, currently oh. doing the driving and a bit of security. Oh, cool. Hi, Cliff. The name's Gavin. Hey, uh, good to meet you, Gavin. And, yeah, uh, pleasure's mine. 
a sinister looking fellow in the eye patch there. Um, he does, he's not part of my business, he's not employed by myself, but he is. <laughs> I love that. He's, he's just got like a little gambling washes thing his hands with him. a bit of dice there with him. <laughs> Shep completely. Get a bit of money off him. Oh, is that right? He realizes Shep's like as subtle as a brick. Mr. Gavin, how are you today? Oh, I'm uh, doing great, doing great. I wouldn't say I'm much in the gambling mood, but uh, maybe I'll take you up on your service one day. Come yeah, well, in, uh -huh. We're, we're uh, last night, so what do you do yourself there, Gavin? Ah, uh, yeah, you see, uh, I, I'm actually a train conductor. Oh, is that right, yeah? yeah. I, I could use a, well, a train, uh, like, on the regular, actually. I was just complaining about it. <laughs> I don't uh, use a horse myself, so Here's I have to walk one thing, actually, I would like. But, uh, oh, I'd get the train if, if, if the was, trains were running a bit more regularly. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, it's, actually, my train, I think it's uh, the family's currently though, working on uh, getting it fixed. I'm not I, uh, sure, but I, I uh, typically think run it out might west, also uh, near Tumbleweed depend. or Armadillo, but... Uh, yeah. I'll be. Yeah, uh, I'll be able, uh, I can get it get it working over here once I get the, the tracks um... repaired between uh, Blackwater and Strawberry. Oh, ah, there's some problem yeah. there or something. Then I guess. We have a uh, running train service. It'd be liable. Oh yes, yes. We'll have a we'll have a train going. Uh, well, uh, I'd, I'd like I'd like to think uh, twenty four seven. I didn't think there was any tracks laid in between Blackwater and Strawberry across the upper Miami. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what we're working on. Mm -hmm. I just said he's working on it, shit. Well, they gotta lay that track as far as I know. Oh, that's the fucking, that's what he's saying, isn't it? Y yes, yes. Uh, w that would need to be laid down. Correct. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, I'm sounds saying, like they must be doing some, um, yeah, uh, some Just on the on side now, you don't, uh, you don't like fancy that. yourself a bit of an actor or a performer all day. You don't play in the... Uh, you don't do any theatrics or play any instruments at all. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't. Uh, I've never been much of a uh, of an artsy feller. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just looking for a few performers as well for opening that. But you know, oh, right. If you have anybody who wants to be a waitress or bar my job, uh, just send them here for us. You know, and you if you ever do. Oh yes, I, I, I can. I can keep an eye out for you, sir. And uh, I am also uh, obligated as a local businessman to recommend my friend around the corner if you ever need to purchase any weapons. He does used weapons on the on the cheap. His name's a uh, way. Good old He's way. Got a gun shop here in Rhodes. Oh, a uh, gun shop, you say? He uh, gives pretty good deals. He gives uh, yeah decent deals. He actually sold me a revolver for uh, five dollars the other day. He's, uh, oh yes. Yeah, it does. It, on, on used items, obviously, but uh, yeah, it's, it's better than buying them new sometimes. Mm, yeah, that uh, the, that does sound quite nice. Maybe uh, maybe I'll look into that. I always wanted one of those uh, fancy pump shotguns. Oh yeah, he's, he's mad for the shotguns around there. I don't know what he's got in, but uh, yeah, he's, he's, he loves them things. Also, uh, in Valentine, I don't know if you frequent that town. There's a, that guy always there's a bar into that there. Table. It's a little grand bar, my friend called uh, Eli. And, uh, you know, if you like a bit of a rougher bar where you can get into a scrap and maybe win a bit of money for it, then you, you might want to call by there as well. I like to send business his way. Mm, Eli. All right, well, I'll keep an eye out for him as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh... I want to keep you from your your patrons over there, but uh, I, I sure enjoy your, your the place you've got here. Yeah, uh, I mean, feel free to hang around. You don't, you know, don't feel under pressure to buy anything or, or anything like that. You, you know, welcome to socialize anytime you like, around here. Oh, uh, th uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Seems to me like a train conductor can get a mighty fine job coming through roads, then, by the sound of it. Oh yes, yes. I, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure the family business would would do quite well running up in these parts. Yeah. So you got a uh, you got a family around here as well that, uh, that you mm -hmm. work with, you say? Yeah, that's right. Uh, see, my uh, mother and father they're not around anymore. So Just me and my brother reach. took over the business. <laughs> right. Is it going well for you? What would you say? Ah, uh, it, it's it's going all right. There was a pretty gnarly storm that blew <clears> through me. and messed up a lot of the tracks out west uh, so we're, we're, we're working on those before we, we want to get the train up and run 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the uh, environment around it is, uh, is quite, uh, what do you call it, harsh in the uh, predatory. You know, it's, it's hard to just walk to a shop and back without getting mauled or something. So, uh, yeah, I'll sympathise oh. with you there working out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's, it's quite dangerous just about anywhere. It is. It is. Dog eat dog world, it is. Oh, it sure is. I I think the the safest place uh in these parts would probably have to be Saint Denis. Yeah, yeah, I've heard uh, I've heard good things about Saint Denis uh, recently, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know there was a a uh, like a turf war going on out there not long ago, but from what I've heard, is it settled down? Oh fuck yeah! I didn't know about any of that. I just uh, I was talking to the uh, owner of the. Uh, Firehouse, you know, in um, Valentine, they said it was mo moving over there, possibly. Oh, that would be quite a move. Yeah, yeah. But I was all for it, you know, if uh, you got Eli Saloon in Valentine, it's over here in Rhodes, and then in the Firehouse, people are over in St. Nick, it might, you know, make a bit of uh, traffic around the state where, you know, it's good for the economy in that. Oh, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Having a bathhouse in St. Denis would probably do them well. There's uh, quite a bunch of wealthy people that live down there. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit uh, a bit busy for my liking. It's a bit, uh, a bit sinister. I don't know. I don't like city too much. This is a, a nice medium between uh, there and the uh, shit hour that is Valentine. Yeah, it's a... Uh... I guess Valentine's an extreme, and Saint Denis could be considered an extreme. Yeah, yeah, it is actually. But I don't get about too often. I went to Valentine yesterday, just on a bit of business, uh, uh, inquiring about some license applications and such. And uh, it was a, it was a fucking circus as usual. But uh, other than that, I don't tend to venture out of roads really. Oh yes, yeah. I uh, I've just recently been uh been traveling because i well i i've uh been uh, acquiring work here and then trying to get some more funds so that we can continue our repairs out west yeah yeah i mean uh you have a you have a big crew out there with you you know uh you, you like make a day of it when you're out working do you yeah i i typically do i uh i, I like to do uh well i'm <clears> a man of all trades so i i don't find myself uh doing one thing too long yeah, I'll get you here. Yeah. I mean, uh, we were just thinking... Yeah, sorry, I'm not discussing I'm before talking much at the minute. I just don't want to jump uh, into the uh, delivery service for like food and drink. Now, uh, if people would like to uh, telegram with an order and that, and maybe we, once, once uh, if he has got his wagon up and running properly, we can uh, deliver it out to your work site, maybe get them some dinner and that over there. I don't know if that's... Oh, um, yes, I, I definitely keep it in mind. Or, um, that sounds uh, like quite there, a treat. Actually. Seemed a little bit yeah, yeah. like his speech. It's all just ideas and our flatting about, you know, uh, what is it, gauging the public interest and all that? Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I might want to, you could always uh, something on the, the bulletin board down in Valentine and see uh, if uh, people might like that. Yeah, I intend to. I intend to. The next few weeks here is, uh, you know, I'm getting the staff that I need hired and trained properly in that. Um, all in preparation for like a grand opening. Hopefully we're going to do like a masquerade ball for a grand opening night here. And after that, you know, we can venture into advertising more and things. But uh, I need to get my license first of all and the stuff required to run this place. Oh, sure. I, I do understand. Uh, I heard those licenses are, are quite expensive. It can be, yeah. Uh, I think it's $100 uh, for the preliminary payment. Uh, I am actually looking for you know, a couple of investors who might want to, uh, you know, chuck in twenty dollars and get free tickets to the shows that go on there for, for you know, for the year or something like that. But yeah, it's hundred dollars, and then you've got to pay twenty dollars a month after that to keep your business going. It's funny because mm, that sort of thing yeah, quite is quite um, an investment. I think Sean's yeah, character, to is, um, but, uh, you get a lot of would be quite interesting and um, legitimising like everything and, uh, you know, seeing what you're doing. Um, I don't know if he's on actually, it would be good if he was, because then so, he could, uh, it should, it should make its money back at No, least. he's not. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Yeah, yeah, so it I, would be good if he, um, yeah, there was a he got involved, to, actually, in this, uh, uh, in this well, story a little bit. I didn't know him personally, but I heard about him. I think he could bring 
This year was his people place overall as well, not just with his stage coach, the but court also um, just oh, through right, right. the fact that, that he's quite a, a recent years, is it? Yeah, quite yeah, a flamboyant yeah, character, if you see what I mean. Uh, like, uh, two and, um, or maybe three months ago. <clears throat> he wants to do that sort of gentleman's for quite club some time. I think he, over in Strawberry. He um, um, I recall correctly, he was it was talking like about eight? doing that with Miguel and um, Mickey oh, uh, uh, Pink's character. It's not a. Is he off with that wrench now? I've not seen uh, him he, he might in character while I've been I, uh, kind of a bigger Miguel, fella, if you see what I mean, furry, recently, uh, so. Furry well, I've not been on with Miguel shoulder. for, for nearly a week now, yeah, I suppose. I've not but... met him personally, but people keep saying that, like, uh, people uh, run the horse racing, they used to be based here or something, but uh, I've not seen him personally. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if he... If he's moved might, on um, to better things, or not necessarily better things. Head over things, to Valentine and maybe try and elsewhere. do some deliveries and just earn a little yeah, bit of cash. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll keep you in whisper about uh, Emerald Wrench. I've not, just, uh... like someone told me to uh, pay a visit, you know, when I first started up here to, to uh, you know, I just sort of show my face as a like, businessman in there, but I've not uh, bothered being out for you. Well, I've not had the time to be uh, perfectly honest. Why does that do that? Oh, yes, no, I, I do understand. Uh, it's, we uh, we're all quite busy. I don't know if it's down to like. Yeah, um, yeah. I was saying that it's not fucking busy in here today, but. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Or whatever, it's a little but, quiet. I'm just waiting on um, a waitress to see if she turns up today. We've hired her and uh, she's taken two days off already. Oh, no. Two days? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that oh, was quite a while. Yeah, yeah speak. I thought it was something. <gasps> oh, wow. Out in the background. <laughs> <laughs> not take time off. Um, hello there, sir. Oh, oh. I can vouch Hi. for that. Little Penny was with me getting drunk yesterday. I thought so. No, I wasn't. She didn't take the time drink. off, though. She was right here working. Exactly. <laughs> Drinking well, on the job. I uh, don't know how we missed each other. Cause she I was, was just getting oh, her in yeah, shit. Actually, I went out for Valentine. Did you cook him when I was out? Um, yes. Yeah, I believe you as well. Well, uh, I mean, check if anyone wants anything while well, I go for a cigarette break then, ain't you? Oh, all right. Uh, but would you like something, sir? Oh, I'm all fine here, ma'am. Just, uh, just for uh, the social. Oh, Staff training afterwards, Benny. First oh, it was right. a coffee break, now he on a smoke break. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm actually, I think I'm going to go out and try and earn a few dollars towards my uh, my stagecoach, actually. I haven't got anything on me. Uh... You need a hand, Cliff? Uh, with, uh, with what, my friend? Well, with anything. That was my general response. Oh, I'm okay. Uh, I mean, like I say, I'm I'm just gonna ride over to Valentine and do a little uh, delivering for that lady. I know you don't like to leave the saloon, you know. Well, it's not raining, but you got a couple wagon, right? No, I I don't have no wagon right now. I was saying, you know, I'm that's mm. what I'm saving up for. I have right. a horse, but. Uh, I better stay here then, but if it's not raining and it's not far away, well, Valentine's pretty far away. Let me know though next time. Yeah, okay, I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind, Shep. Thanks. Well, uh, yeah, you you probably want to stay here and uh, and keep Penny safe and uh, keep her company as well, you know. Keep her safe from that bartender. And those uh those right locals back. as well. He uh that one guy earlier on. You weren't uh you weren't in town I don't think at the time, Penny, but I had to uh I had to deal with somebody earlier on. He uh he seemed to be shadowing me and you know, I turned around and was asking him what his you know, issue was with me and he uh he just stopped, you know, laying into me or tried to. So uh Oh, uh, oh you're alright. Oh yeah, he didn't land a punch. He uh, oh. <laughs> he got pretty badly Good. messed up actually. I think uh, Shep here oh, took my. him out to the uh, the stable after I dealt with him. But uh, 
yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't take kindly to that. You know, he was, uh, yeah, certainly had some kind of issue with me. Next time you have to fight somebody in Theo's saloon, I'd ask for two dollars after it. I ain't no problem. I mean, he had the he had a problem with me outside and then followed me in. So, you know, I was just trying to mind my own business. <sighs> yeah, uh, the Theodore, I'm gonna head over to Valentine and uh, you know do a do a couple of deliveries. Hopefully, earn some money towards that uh, that stagecoach of mine. But uh, I was just saying here to the uh, to the lady and gent that you know maybe we should uh you know i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on and uh i need to i need to get some money out of the bank also so you know i'm not just sucking you dry of beer you know every time i come in here i don't want to feel like no charity you know well it's all right but yeah you, you do what you need to do we'll be around yeah okay well yeah i just uh thought i'd catch you before i hit the road yeah, well, uh, be careful on that in Valentine, and uh, I'll see you when you get back, mate. Oh, yeah, I, I expect I'll be maybe, uh, well, maybe uh, see you tomorrow, you know, or maybe later on this evening. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I should be back, you know, before too long. I'm just going to do a couple of deliveries for that lady and maybe uh, buy a couple of things in town over there that uh, I was, you know, had kind of had my eye on, but... Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I, was, I was just saying to Shep here, he, he probably want to stay here and, uh, you know, take up uh, some security if uh, you keep getting problems with them locals like that. Well, you know, uh, either way, you could take Shep if you want. He's, oh, he can stay here. It's up, to, uh, it's up to him. You want to go, Shep? Well, we already talked about that when you was outside on your smoke break. Right, but you know what the uh, the uh, important part of that sentence that you just said is that I was outside on my smoke break. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck you said, do I? I told Cliff I'd go with him if he needed some help. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's no problem for me. I mean, it's just, uh, like I say, a couple of deliveries and then I'll be back. But, you're uh, doubly sure if you, you're extra extra sure about that yeah yeah i mean you know i i was thinking more for your safety and penny's safety here you know that you might need uh, ah. an extra set of hands in case you get one of them uh them guys coming over and trying to start trouble again cliff does make a fine point yeah well you would know good uh you're on you just watched him but yeah, all right, all right. If you want to stay, stay. But uh, Penny's got staff training to actually. Oh right. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna hit the road, and uh, as I say, I'll be back in you know, probably like half a day, maybe at the most, and uh, hopefully, maybe I can uh, you know spread the word over there in Valentine that you know the saloon over here is uh, is jumping, and people uh, people might want to come over. Well, that would be uh, wonderful. Oh, yeah, it would, but, um, you know, more than customers, you know, I'll just sort of, if anyone's looking for work, uh, barmaid waitress-wise, we'll give some help, uh, for, you know, put people on extra shifts and stuff, so, yeah, mentioned that uh, we're hiring for you. All right, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that for you, Theodore, no problem. All right, yeah. All right, well, you uh, you all take care now, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you in a few hours, all right? All right, Stay yeah. safe, Mr. Clifford. Oh, I will, Penny. Don't worry about me. Bye, Clifford. Take care out there, Shep. Right. Right, Penny. Let's uh, let's get some routine down so we know what we're doing. <laughs> the, uh, it's, it's hard to read what the shift, right? dynamic with Shep is because he's quite a spiky right, character. So first up, I feel like already. And Kuda's playing it well, but... Yeah. It's... Um, it's hard to sort of know what the uh, what the way it's gonna play out is. I feel like almost like he's um, angling for a fight <laughs> in some respects. Like the comment about um, 
me taking his money or something. I don't know if that's um, his gambler's mentality or something coming out that he's worried about getting robbed or that kind of thing, or maybe he has he has been robbed. But we'll find that sort of stuff out later. But yeah, I just felt like um, if we're sort of staying around here, it's um, it's going to be a little bit limiting, and we do need to earn a little bit of money so that we've got some extra in the bank to be able to buy beers and general supplies and stuff like that. As I say, we've only got five bucks in the bank right now, so let's get out there and, uh, and earn some wedge, as, um, you heard these rumors of as your boy uh, would say, choppins. Who's this? Hello? Seven. Was that, that's, that was the same guy, I think, from earlier, wasn't it? Gavin? Oh, shit. Maybe? It was, yeah. Doing a bit of hunting. Well, hello. Standard. <laughs> Everyone's on the hunt to uh, to earn cash. It's kind of it's one of those things, isn't it? I mean, everyone's going to do the thing that's going to get them the most money in the shortest amount of time. Um, I'm kind of glad, in some respects, that we found that um, that lady to do the sort of shorter deliveries. Um, it might be a ride over to Valentine and everything, but um, one thing actually I was suggesting in um, in the forums was that they might want to look at spreading, um, or at least perhaps not taking it away from Valentine, but maybe spreading um, some of the, uh, the deliveries and so forth across the maps to various different towns. Because um, you've kind of got a lot going on in Valentine um, in that sense. There's like multiple deliveries and things that are going on there. Um, but there's nothing, or at least nothing that I know of in character and nothing that sort of pops out in um, in Rhodes as being something that you could do like that. Um, which is kind of limiting in terms of like it kind of forces, well it doesn't force you to, but once you know in character where there's work, you're going to go for the work that you know, if you see what I mean. We could go to Ansberg, um, but um, it's a hell of a ride, and um, I think it was Bjorn, um, the character um, played by, I think his name's Vax, or Vax, um, but yeah, he um, he gave us $10 the other day, and he seemed like a nice character and stuff, and he was over in Valentine and told us about Ansberg, that there's delivery we can do from there which gets you 48 bucks um, but it's it sounds like it's quite a long delivery because um, I believe it's up into the mountains perhaps um, so it might be one of those that maybe we do you know one of those a day or something like that when it's a little quiet um, I mean we could try that actually to be honest with you we could do um do a delivery over there just to see how long it is and where it takes us um, yeah I don't want to like start just doing the things that earn the most amount of money like just for the sake of it if you see what I mean I'm kind of wondering we're getting kind of like little graphical glitches every now and then and I think it's possibly because I updated the drivers and stuff the other day um, when I tried to play Red Dead Online, like just in the um, normal online component, not um, Red M, it was saying I had to up update my drivers and stuff, so I was like, okay, well, we'll do that now. <laughs> it's been a month or two since I updated them last, so I thought it's probably about time, but it seems that we've got a little bit of a graphical glitch in that sense going on every now and then. But it's all good. So yeah, we're just going to just gonna earn a little bit of money and we'll pop back there in like about half an hour or so we'll just see how long um, maybe we'll do a couple of deliveries over here and then maybe we'll do like one of those deliveries over to um, wherever it takes us from Ansberg but as I say I don't really want to do like a lot of long distance deliveries and stuff like that particularly if it's not gonna pay much the that thing with um, 
Monroe the other day. He told us about the um, the deliveries from that guy Bobby. He's called him. Um, so that's what we'll call him. <laughs> um, in uh, in Valentine, um, takes you on longer deliveries and so on. But it only seemed to pay like about the same amount. So to our mind, to Cliff's mind at the moment, it's like well. Why would I go all that way for seven dollars potentially when, um, you know, he he's he thinks that Bobby stiffed him, um, you know, got him to deliver this wagon a long way away, and then yeah, only gave him seven dollars. Um, you know, the guy at the other end only gave him seven bucks. And he's a bit like, well, <laughs> been kind of seen off here, but yeah. <laughs> So for um, for Cliff, he's he's feeling like a little bit like he doesn't want to do stuff for Bobby if um, if he's only going to get seven bucks out of it, and then he's got to ride back half across half uh, across half the state to get back to Rhodes or get back to Valentine or whatever. Um, so I don't really want to do deliveries that are going to keep taking me further and further away, um, potentially from places and people that we know already. Um, I know that would be like potentially good because we might meet some more people for RP and stuff like that but it's not really in Cliff's nature to sort of just go off around and about all the time um, he's kind of you know always been centered around roads and flat next doing, station and so on um, so maybe we'll just have a quick little glance in the town um, before we go and do this delivery I expect it's rammed full of people yeah, there's a whole group of people there. Um, it's nothing really that I need to need to take, to be honest with you. I was thinking about maybe going and um, checking out prices for guns and stuff like that. Actually, let's do that quickly because I don't know I don't know if what the price of the pump action is, but that's really kind of the next thing we want to save for. Um, but again, it, it might be something that I buy and then just keep, you know, stowed on the horse or whatever. So, um... Clothes made it from scene to me last week, right? The ones I reordered. Yep. Show <laughs> Be funny if there was two characters like played by people going like yep sure enough outside a gun store and stuff Evening, never know it could actually be but i'm not about to like look and see whether it's uh, a player or if it's just npcs and stuff if someone starts speaking to me and says more than just a couple of words then i'll i'll say hello but evening mister even fellas. Let's just have a little little peruse. Oh fuck off. Looking for a more personal touch with your weapons. Rhodes gun store now open for purchase. Oh way's been way's been through. Um that's kind of a that's kind of an annoying place to place that. Um because you kind of can't get around it. 150 bucks, yeah I thought it was. I knew it had gone up in price, I didn't know by how much. <clears throat> it was about, I want to say like 85, maybe a, maybe it was 100, I'm not sure for the pump previously, but yeah. Um... Hmm, so yeah 150 bucks we need. Um... But yeah, again, like I say, it's probably not going to be something that we're just going to like. Vampires in San Denis, they're saying. Rain Hello there. Sirens. Vampires in San Denis. That must be where Chip got his information from. Um. Someone just on the porch there. 
Grab yourself a good evening, partner. Hey how you doing? It's Shadow. Well, we know him in character as um, Miguel. I think we met him very briefly. Uh, but we don't know him as um, as Cliff. Let's just see what um, the lady gives us. We'll do, like I say, we'll, maybe we'll do three or four deliveries here. Uh, okay, so this is the one over by the psycho house. <laughs> so there was something Doobie was saying, so if I type clear chat, that's the one. So when I bring up, yeah, if I could spell. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. Come on, man. I'm not drunk, honestly. Uh, right, so yeah, we'll just do a couple of quick um, deliveries here, and then maybe we'll go to Ansberg, do a big delivery from there, and then um, see where we're at, get back to um, get back to Rhodes. <clears throat> It's nice that there's something that's simple enough to do just to earn a little bit of money so that you can have, you know, a few bucks pretty quickly in that sense. You don't have to go busting your ass trying to hunt all the time and do that stuff if your character's not the sort of person that would do that and Cliff isn't the type of person that's just going to go hunting. Um, He's always seen people riding around on horses and um, in carriages and stuff like that, riding past his father's farm. So he's like just doing business and stuff that keeps him going and earns him a bit more money than he um, gets from uh, from his father. Back at the same place, is it? Oh no, wait. Wallace train station. That's a bit of a different. Um, that's a bit of a different location. That's a bit further away. Yeah, it's good that um, that there's something like this, as I say, so that we're not um, doing things that are out of character. Because Miguel, as I say, Miguel's the type of person that will go hunting because he's spent his entire life, well not his entire life, but he's spent a lot of time coming up through the whole of South America and um, so on and... Uh, He's um he's used to trapping and hunting to keep himself going on the road, whereas Cliff doesn't really have a need to do that, um, unless you know there becomes there's a reason for it. If you see what I mean, it's um yeah, it's not going to be something that we do a lot of if you see what I mean. It'll only like change if someone tells us as well really, but again, like I say, it's it's not in his nature to go just hunting stuff and being like, oh I'm just gonna go out and hunt deer or hunt buck and stuff like that. I hate that, just a snake, it's just enough to spook the horse and make, make them go nuts like this. Probably should have crossed over back there to be honest with you, it's probably going the long way around now. And Wallace Station, am I thinking of a different place? Am I going... 
Yeah, no, I need I needed to I needed to be down there, didn't I? Um, yeah, we'll just um, let's try and go back down. Looks like can we get down here? No, that's too steep. We can get down here. Oh, they're lucky. Come on. Need to relax. Calm yourself. Uh, actually, we're going to need to go further down here. Otherwise, we're going to be on another set of cliff. Cliff on the cliff. Is this... Hang on. I feel like I'm in a totally different area to where I thought I was. This is the, it's the place with the waterfall underneath um, that you can go in behind the waterfall. Really should have bought some shotgun ammo, but um, at the moment there's no uh, there's no reason to buy it in high volume at least anyway because um don't have a fully fledged shotgun we've just got the underbarrel and um if we fire nine shots at a, a wolf or whatever that's um there we go seven bucks again as well because it's annoying. Here we go. Yeah, maybe we'll go, um, just thinking, should we go to Ansberg now? Um, we go back via, um, go back via, say is there a faster route but this is going to be the fastest route okay. honestly for some reason I don't know why I had it in my head that Cumberland Falls was actually in a different, in a different spot but it's obviously it's not <laughs> it's right there but yeah Oh yeah, I know where we've we're coming up. I always forget that this kind of links to this section of um, the pathing into into Valentine. It's whenever I see that covered bridge, I know I'm pretty much on the track home. So yeah, we kind of went uh, around that way. Really, we could have just gone straight down that path and over. But is that someone? In the woods back there. Hmm. I don't know if that was just me or Yeah, that delivery wouldn't have been so bad if I'd gone the um, gone the right way. <laughs> but I think that might be the furthest one that it takes you on, if you see what I mean, for that lady anyway.
Let's just park across here. So yeah, we'll do one more for this lady in town and then we might go over to um, Ansberg just to see. of people at butcher's table as usual <laughs> all doing the hunting if you get here come here i'll give you one what's your name oh that's the uh the one south of cumberland um, Duncan, i'm loaning this to you i better get it back yeah, absolutely there you are thanks sir Alright, where's he at? Fucking halt. Oh, let's go! Alright. Let's go. Is that sheriff's let's going out? Right well, it seems like everyone's leaving town as we're coming in. It's kind of interesting with the the sort of character dynamic, if you see what I mean, between um, between Shep and um, Cliff at the minute. It's like a weird... Yeah, I'm not sure if he's like feeling us out or if he's maybe got like... Yeah, I don't know. Got a problem with us or... hard to know where you stand with the guy. He obviously plays his cards close to his chest like a gambler would. Maybe not um, too quick to trust people in that sense. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's just kite them away. wolves man always around that same sort of spot it won't have despawned I don't think but we might be able to ride past them now this guy's this guy's not um These spawns, I don't know. I can't see them anywhere. I'm just going to keep on riding. And now they are in a big old pack. Four or fucking five of them. Maybe we'll go the other way. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, we'll go around. We know another we know another route. If those wolves are causing problems down here. Came in the back way a few times into Valentine from uh, from that delivery instead of going back around the pathway and stuff. So we'll just do that. Kind of along the rail track on the left hand side this way and then around and up the hillside up there. Is kind of one thing I wish um, was uh, 
sorted out in some respects like the the wolves and everything like because you've got no bonding with the horse your horse is just gonna throw you off like 100% of the time like in um, in online once you've got bonding up to like level 4 um, you're pretty much golden because you can a lot of people don't know this I think um, but you can calm your horse um, before it throws you off and you can do it like one or two times like quite happily before it will like throw your ass to the wolves um, but on here it's like as soon as they see him you've got like one chance to just ride the fuck away and if you don't take that opportunity then yeah you get fucked and it's um it's not Move, ideal what are you talking about move bitch <laughs> blow your goddamn head off is that, is that no it's not a player i don't think um right let's just have a little let's have a little think about how we're gonna go over to uh ansberg It's a fucking long way. And I don't know where it's going to take us for the delivery either. I'm expecting for 48 bucks it might even take us all the way up to like Amberino. Um, and Bjorn did kind of say it's a long, it's a long delivery. Maybe we'll just go back to Rhodes. Let's go back to Rhodes actually, but we'll go through Emerald Ranch because not been there. Um, and it might be nice just to say say hello, see some peeps over there, if there are any people there. Don't know where um don't know where people are going to be at the moment because um they're not all sort of gathered up. Well, they were some of them gathered up in Valentine, but. Um, not to the same extent, if you see what I mean. And they were just riding out of town as well. It looked like that was a bunch of um, sheriffs and possibly um, possibly some peeps in um, like deputized roles or something. I know that they've been struggling a little bit. I think to get um, they've been struggling to get uh, people in the um, damn folk won't leave me the hell alone. It's fucking a snake again. I know they've been struggling to get people for law enforcement. Um, and because we've just had a big influx of people on the whitelist um, in the last few days, it's all all up in the air, all over the place in terms of um, law enforcement. So probably now, it's a shame really, because I would quite have liked to do, um, or at least like start getting closer to the, the robbery um, that we were planning on doing. Um, Um, yeah, at the moment it's still a little bit of a uh, still a little bit of a pipe dream for Miguel and uh, the guys. And um, Kuda was saying as well um, that he's not going to be around much for the next week or so after Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I don't know when when we're going to get to do that. If you see what I mean, because. We've not even had the chance to say to him um, in character um, as Miguel or um, I don't know if Casper's seen him because I think Doobie's been playing uh, Theodore most of the time as well because um, we've kind of put that on hold for the minute but um, I don't know if Casper told him at all that he wants um, Callahan to uh, to maybe be a decoy outside of the um, outside of the bank or outside of whatever place it is that we decide to stop, sort of stick up first um, so that we've got someone there on the scene to throw them off 
to say like, oh look, they went that way. I saw three people running out of the um, bank just now or whatever. So we've got someone kind of on the scene to, yeah, like be, um, be a lookout and also to sort of give us uh, an early warning. You know, they see uh, sheriffs riding into town sort of ride you know not ride up but be lent on the lent on the bank wall or whatever and you know, give a whistle and then walk away kind of thing and that, that might be the cue for us to go like right we've got like 10 seconds before the deputies get here or whatever maybe we'll have a little look in the uh in the saloon here but it doesn't look like there's anyone doesn't look like there's anyone around I thought if there was there would be a horse hitched up out here. Let's just have a quick little check. Yeah, it's dead. Arrow card though, but yeah, it's dead. It's kind of what I mean, like if Emerald Ranch had more than just um I mean, it, it might do. I mean, I've not gone into other buildings and stuff like that, but should we just have a... I don't know if you can get in these other buildings. No. Can't get in that one, at least. Maybe in this door. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it'd be nice if Emerald Ranch had like a farm or something even, because like there's people farming here, you know, just to provide some extra opportunity for people that are RPing to hey, do stuff. Want here? No point I don't want no problems with you. Now. I mean, I'm not, uh, not about to give you a whooping. already proved my metal earlier no sense in uh, riling up the locals around here we only pick fights that we uh, well we don't pick no fights but we uh, we only deal with people like that when we have to don't want to don't want to have no uh, no problems with people. Right, so we'll ride back over to Rhodes. We know where we are from here, pretty much. <coughs> it also expands our knowledge a bit in um, in terms of Cliff. I mean, he does know this this area anyway, because um, he's lived the whole his whole time around. You know, as I say, he's lived his whole time around roads and um, Bayou Noir and uh, Le Moyne in general. Um, what is this? I can't remember the name of this specific alias. Scarlet Meadows, I think, isn't it? Heartlands and Scarlet Meadows, where it all sort of joins up. This, this area here basically was where... Um, I spent the most amount of time, if you see what I mean, um, as Miguel, and um, obviously it's the whole sort of area that encompasses roads as well, which is what, um, or where, sorry, I should say, good English, <laughs> um, where Cliff has spent his life, so he's pretty he's pretty much aware of like how to get from to be and we've been to Emerald Ranch anyway in um, in a previous uh, on a previous day when we were looking for a, a nice horse for not too much money and we found it in Lucky here even though we bought him over in um, we bought him over in uh, Blackwater when we work, walked back from that delivery Monroe put us on to um, Ah, the rain. 
See, if we'd had Shep with us, this could have turned into a weird one. <laughs> if we were riding back and he's like, I don't want the rain! Bloody snakes. Calm down. Jesus. It's only a bloody snake, for goodness sakes. <laughs> In online, I used to do a lot of hunting and stuff all around this kind of area, and I always pitch my camp in Scarlet Meadows. And I know the most direct routes to places. And because, um, as I say, Cliff's grown up here, it's um, second nature to him as well. Just follow the roads, or not follow the roads, but follow your, your nose south. Can't go too far wrong going back towards roads. You find him a marker that you recognise, like this farm I always know to turn left here and you're basically there now. Um Yeah, we were gonna go to Ansberg I think, but it just seems like an awful, like pointless ride for Potentially something that's going to pull us halfway across the map just to earn some cash and stuff and right at the moment we've not got no need to earn cash in a big quantity in that sense. It'd be useful to have it for the shotgun or whatever but like I say it's not essential right now. We haven't got the wagon, well we've got, we've got the wagon but we're just not going to get it out until um, I feel like there's a time, time enough past to feel like we've earned money to able to buy um, buy the wagon and then at that point we're we're going to be wanting to do the sort of taking people from A to B so yeah the next thing really is just going to be getting enough cash to have a shotgun so that we've got some protection when we do decide to take the stagecoach out. Um, let's just pop this in here. Leave five dollars, so sixteen. Twenty one bucks. Shep's probably shaking in his boots right now. <laughs> that Shep there actually kind of looks probably not doesn't leave the saloon much maybe it is it's an NPC oh uh, hey, there. hey there hey there way how are you doing Pretty good, uh, you all right? Yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Just uh, come back from doing a little bit of delivery work over there in Valentine. You know, uh, you know the lady over there by the uh, by the tents, that that place uh, where they have yeah, that. Yeah, I know what uh, you mean. The circus. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They have uh, they have that like moving moving pictures thing inside there. Yeah, I've been there a few times. I never got really into the till rigs myself. No, yeah. not efficient for it. No, I'm I'm not, you know, prepared to to give someone my money for for something I don't know what I'm gonna see, you know. Uh, but people tell me about that place, and uh, you know, she, they, they make they they have a they have a thing you can watch there. But you know, I I ain't really interested in that. Maybe Theodore would be uh, would be interested, but. You know, there's um, a freak show that came by there a few days ago. Oh, right. You, uh, maybe that was, uh, I, I saw a few days ago, actually, uh, like a caged wagon, like, uh... Oh, yeah. 
That's the yeah. one. It's something about uh, an animal man, a pig man. Oh, right, right. I wonder if that's the, uh, this wolf person that, uh, Theodore was talking about. He was saying that apparently there was some, there's some wolf lady around. Wolf, no don't know about there. that one, but that would make great entry into the circus. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, he was saying about, you know, apparently around roads there's this person like that, but, uh, I lived here my whole life, and, uh, I ain't never seen nobody like that. Man, neither have I, but you better count your lucky stars you haven't. I mean, I've been up there with your strawberry. I've seen, I seen the wolves up there. It's, uh, <laughs> if there's a person acting like one of them, then that's not gonna be a good thing. Oh yeah, I, I just ran into some wolves actually on one of my deliveries um, over from Valentine. You know that place, uh, there's a house kind of uh, near to Cumberland Forest up there. Cumberland I always seem to... Uh, yeah, I always seem to ride up to uh, that sort of place and always seem to be some wolves around there. Oh yeah, if you can believe that, I've even ran into one pack of eight, eight wolves. Oh, there were eight there wolves. were five just now and uh, I thought, you know, I got nine shots in my revolver before I have to reload. I'm not sure I can take this on. Yeah, it's a revolver. I mean, you're going to need two shots each if you're aiming carefully. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I ain't shot many rounds, you know, in that sense. I mean, I literally got it so that I can, you know, have something there to protect myself. Make myself feel a little bit more comfortable on the road. I mean, yeah, I don't... Yeah, they won't attack you on the wagons, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the the delivery lady, though, there, she uh, she gives you a small package so you can you can take it on your horse like Lucky here. Oh, it's one of the small but, uh, ones. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you don't have to, you don't have to go too far either. But yeah, some of the places she sent you to are a little bit creepy, you know. There's this one place, uh, kind of gives me the, kind of gives me the willies, you know. Uh, I don't know what you mean. There's a couple places around the state that are sound like that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm gonna head over to the to the saloon way. I, I don't know if you uh, if you want to join us over there, but uh, I'm gonna have a beer or something. See if uh, see if Theodore's around. And... Well, yeah, I just saw him right there. Um, I don't actually drink, so I um, I'd love to join you, but uh, not thinking. Oh right. Um, I mean he uh, he served coffee and uh, water. I think if uh, if you don't drink alcohol. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay him a visit later. Okay, well, uh, yeah, you uh, you take care out there, way, and I hope uh, some people come past and uh, you know give you some business also. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, fine day. Yeah, you take care out there. Cliff's not actually heard anything about this um, stuff to do with the basement under there, but um, we were looking in the basement when uh, when Wei wasn't around. Um, so yeah, we were kind of uh, being a bit sneaky, 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 snooping around a little bit, but. Um, yeah, come by any time, mate. You're always welcome. Yeah, sounds like someone's in there at least. Let's hopefully not get into another fight with another local. How are you doing, sir? Oh, my mistake. The marks the shit. Well, that was uh, an eventful little trip right there. To make it to Valentine back. Oh yeah, I did a uh, did maybe three or four deliveries for that lady, but uh, 
I ran into a pack of wolves going to one place, and <gasps> yeah, it was uh, kind of, uh, I was, you know, feeling like maybe I was about to pass something. You see what I mean? No, oh I don't want to be too, uh, I don't want to be too graphic. Oh, you shit yourself? <laughs> no, 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 I felt like I might, though, uh, there was five wolves all chasing after me, and this other fella, he was, uh, he was making a run for it, coming the opposite way, and I was sort of asking him, you know, what, uh, what the deal was, and he, uh, he made it pretty clear I needed to turn around and go the other way. And then uh, I see these five wolves streaming up behind him thinking, oh, okay, well, I've only got nine shots in my revolver. I ain't got enough to deal with this. So I uh, I turned and took the other route, you know. Fucking hell. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I don't come into contact with too many wolves around here. You know, sometimes you find a, a gators crept up from Bayou Noir, but... Uh, yeah, usually uh, pretty safe round roads from uh, that kind of thing. I mean, sometimes you got to watch actually over in those uh, those woods down to the south. They, uh, sometimes you find uh, panthers and cougars round there. But uh, yeah, you you want to watch yourself if you ever, ever you go uh, too far south towards the uh, the river there. Oh, uh, you earn some new dollars. Probably just waiting to gamble them. Well, you know me, Shep. Uh, I'm no <laughs> gambling man. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall you saying something like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe one day, you know, maybe maybe I'll gamble a dollar or something, but I ain't about to start spending my, uh, my money like that and uh, maybe losing it. I got things I need to... I need to buy. I just four dollars away from that kind man that was in here just a moment ago. <laughs> you Both were tables, Penny. You lost. I'm uh, sorry, what? You lost money to him, or you you got money from him? Sorry, I didn't. I, I took I tables. I took cleaning. four dollars of him. Oh, of course. Oh right, right. So uh, that's. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, he, uh, he seemed a little bit, uh, a little bit spiky when I was, uh, walking to the door. He, he came out and was a bit like, well, yeah, he had a bit of a face on, you know? Mm hmm Well, he just had a beard, too. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So you need to do any work around here? I could help you out. Not raining. I was thinking about that actually as I was uh, coming back over from uh, I, I stopped in at Emerald Ranch on the way. You know, uh, you know that place. I think I've heard of it. Fellow yeah, was I, just uh, in here talking about it a little while ago. Yeah, I was coming back from uh, over that ways. Uh, wanted to have a little look in the old stable there, but uh, everything there is a little bit. Uh, Pricey, you know. I was thinking maybe uh, looking at some horses there to pull my wagon, but uh, yeah, everything there is a little bit uh, more expensive than I had imagined. Those people uh, charging quite a quite a fortune for some of those uh, those animals. But yeah, on my way back over, there was a pretty big storm and got a you know a lot of rain coming down I was thinking maybe uh, you know if I had asked you to come with me maybe you uh, you might not have liked that but not one bit a good steed's hard to come by sometimes though yeah I mean uh, I think I was kind of fortunate you know actually to find Lucky he uh, he was over there in, in Blackwater after I I went over that I'm not sure if I told you I met someone called Monroe a while back and he uh he was good enough to give me a deer off the back of his horse. He he saw I was, you know, struggling to struggling to make some money and you know, he said to me, uh, you know, maybe you can take this deer and use it. I mean, I, he only shot it because it was in his way, he was saying. 
so uh, he said you can take this and yeah he uh showed me around when i was over in valentine and i saw him over there and he said uh you know he showed me a couple of places i could do the deliveries to uh to earn myself some money and uh yeah, I uh, I bought Lucky when I went over from this guy Bobby over there. Um, he like uh, he have a delivery place, and he asked me to go all the way down to a place near near Blackwater, and uh, so I I did that, and I'll be damned if the man that I uh, got paid by was only giving me seven dollars for going halfway across the state there. So I, I decided to walk over to Blackwater because I, I lost my mule on the way, uh, you know, having to drive the wagon. So I was a little bit, you know, a little bit annoyed by that. Um, so I thought maybe I, I should buy myself a horse. And, uh, you know, when I when I got into uh, when I got into Blackwater, there was a there was a horse there for thirty five bucks, and sure enough, that was lucky. Bar penny. Hi there. Okay, this like a, what an adventure. I quite alright. Why you get me a drink? Eh? How you doing, miss? I'm doing good, sir. How are you today? Welcome Not to too the bad. <laughs> Welcome to the Red Mill Parlor House. Will you be dining in the restaurant today, or is the drinks at the bar? I drinks at the bar. I want me a uh, bourbon and beer. All right, sir. Morning there, Mr. Uh, Crawfish. What's morning there, there. how you doing today? Feed all right? I'm okay. trying to remember, it was feed all right? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Good to see you again. Oh, I'm guessing that's, yeah. You and all? What's, what's the problem? It's really the whole. What? Nothing. Oh, right, I thought um, he was trying was to just... ask me something. No, I was just about to say to him that uh, the beer is uh, $2 and bourbon $1, please. All right. Oh yeah, you had a you had a busy go, diet day. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, were uh, you you talking to me, Theodore? Uh, I may have been working today and just been uh, round round did care of some things. Thank you, miss. Oh, you're fair enough, fair enough. Been like I said, busy couple of uh, well, hectic days, not in business since uh, as of late. Yeah, 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 you, uh, yeah, I remember you saying, actually. And we ain't been, uh, we ain't been open too much as of late. Some failure, last, last time we were open at the bathhouse, some failure came in and tried to fucking rob us, too. Fucking hell. Mm-hmm. Have you, uh, you still, uh, over there in Valentine, not moved, have you yet? Uh, no, we haven't moved yet, you know. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, I was off there yesterday. It was fucking chaos. There was donkeys running around and everything. The hell? It, get, it gets a little, uh, gets a little bit hectic up there sometimes. Some weird folk come through there from time to time. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. walked there again, and uh, just as I was on the outskirts, a gang of about nine fucking big burly men picked me up and, you know, cut me to town, give me a lift the rest of the way. But it was fucking manic. Jesus, it sound like him. Yeah, you can definitely get hectic over from bad time to time, that's for sure. But in there doing that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, howdy. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> it's like oh, fucking help. Fucking Kenny, don't say it to everyone. It's the geezer that was in here five minutes ago. Don't say it to everyone that fucking comes in. <laughs> oh, I, I really don't mind. Alright, yeah. Little Benny's doing a fine job. Yeah, alright. Well, yeah, I'll, uh, uh, yeah, right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just take a beer, please. That would be two dollars, please. Sure thing. There you go, ma'am. Thank you very much. Mm -mm. Oh, you're right, welcome, right, miss. There you go. Oh, wow. Feels kind of cold. Well, that's good, isn't it? Oh yes, no, that's very good actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm. 
<laughs> oh wow, what a bust! There's something up with his um his model. Uh, you see what I mean? Yeah. Oh oh oh! Ah! I I just can't get enough. What did you put in here? Um, nothing. I promise. <laughs> is that is that, is that cocaine? Uh, are you are you no. giving me cocaine? What? I'm not giving you cocaine. Um, Oh, oh, cocaine! Uh, I'm really not. Oh no. Cocaine! Are you alright? Oh my god! What are you keeping behind that couch? Are you alright, sir? Sir? Uh, you okay? Yeah. Is, is, is he alright? Seems like a nutty train conductor to me. Um. Yeah, I uh, I don't think I'll be getting on any train. He's uh, he's taken. That might be quite a ride though. It'd be hard to miss something like that. Yeah, I just don't want to go over uh, the edge of you know my name, if you see what I mean. If you're driving one of them trains too fast, you know, in uh, getting too excited and forget to put the brake on. Go straight off the edge of a, you know, off the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Very strange fellow. You, uh, you find him out there, Penny? Is he, uh, is he okay there? I think he was hiding behind a house over there. I'm not, I'm not sure though. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Could I uh, trouble you for uh, for a beer myself, actually? Oh, of course. Oh, uh, how much do I owe you? Uh, two dollars, please. Okay, bear with me. All right. Uh, what do we have to do? Uh, hold on. A4. Little Benny, you want to gamble with the oh, saloon's money? You might be able to turn it over <laughs> for a profit. Hmm, perhaps. There you go. Thank you very much. What were you writing earlier, Mr. Shep? In my book? Yes, what was it? Oh, just something about the rain. How it makes me feel, mm. I suppose. Really? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It's so loud, you can't hear yourself think. Well, that's true, I suppose. I have no Hello, babies. Okay. Alright. I don't think I met you two. What's your name there, Ipage? Well, my name's Chef. I'm just a gambling man. Chef? Is that what you said? Chef with an S. Oh, Chef. Alright. There you are, sir. All right, good to meet you there, Cliff and, uh, and Ship. I'm, I'm Crawfish. Y'all ever in Valentine? Y'all ever in Valentine? Yeah, you uh, stop by the bathhouse here, the Saints Hotel. Run the putting pads out of there with a few people. If you ever looking near the bath or hotel room, got your cupboard. All right. That's what I like to hear. Obviously, when you're when you're when you're not here, obviously mm -hmm. yeah, this place is quite an establishment. Ain't too oh, bad. Yeah, it's a nice place. Oh, so you're tired my customers? Is something you offer here? Little oh, yeah, bit, yeah, little yeah, bit. I felt like running. <laughs> fair, it's a fair guy, mate. Oh yes, yes, for sure. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm hmm. Oh, I know what you're saying. I get you. I born and raised around these parts, then, huh? Oh, I, I think I'm all right. Mm hmm. Hey, I know it. I know I've been by that by there a few times in my, day, in my days. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, I'm a train conductor. Mm hmm. Oh, I. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll keep that in mind, actually. It would be nice to see people, uh, you know, it would be nice to see you getting some stagecoaches up and around again, to be honest with you. Hey. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, we got we got one of them over at the bathhouse. There, uh, those things are a bitch to, to to handle. I'll tell you that much. I don't know if you got experience with it, but holy hell, you go down a narrow path in that son of a bitch. It's uh, uh, yeah. We lost uh, we we took our down uh, down New Austin way recently and lost all the goddamn horses on the way. <laughs> Believe it or not, goddamn, all the goddamn horses got loose. God we went up a little slope, and the heads, horses fell off and got loose from the chains and whatnot, or whatever you, the, they are attached with, and took off. All ran off on their own. So now they're free down New Austin. Fucking hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I made him. I never never worked for him none, but I made him me offer work delivering booze and whatnot. Okay. You ride from you ride from Vantown all the way down to Blackwell, only pay seven dollar. Goddamn some bitch, Jesus, cheapskate some bitch. I'll tell you that much. Sound like you pick her head, if you ask me. What kind of horse is he, if you don't mind my asking? Oh. Yeah, they nice, they nice horses. It could be right, I'm not, not I mean, I know a thing or two about horses, but I don't know where they're all from or what now. The nice, yeah, the illusions aren't too bad. They're nice horses, big ones too. Mm -hmm. I get you. I get you. 
Yeah, I got a, I got a fox term. Let's see if they're pretty small, actually. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Keep your stroke for big and folk. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's pretty much what you need. Clever, I can turn that seven dollars into fourteen dollars real quick for you. Oh, all right. Sound like a business opportunity. All right, Theo, you, you, uh, you take it easy, or I'm going to head out for a bit. Oh, all right, yeah, Mr. Fish, yeah, you you stay safe. Hey, okay. you all take it easy. Lovely geezer, lovely guy. Yeah, it's another... Uh, well, I'd say local. He's a, he's a businessman from uh, Valentine. I don't know if he said. Well. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, one of the owners, I think. Yeah, well. I assume so. He oh, yeah, seems to be doing all right for himself. Little Penny, you give me a smoke for a dollar? Uh, all right. you, were out, you were out there early, by the way, Theo. Did you see anyone take my horse? It was, a, it was like a golden-looking um, fox trotter with white mane. See if I, didn't, I didn't notice anyone. It was the only person I saw out there was that uh, Gavin fella that was stood over here. Who trying to, really uh, now? Train conductor, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, train conductors? Maybe it'll be train station in. I'll go take a look. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Theo. All right, mate. Apologies. Right. There you are. Fuck's sake. Thank you. A fucking local businessman comes here for a drink and his fucking horse gets starving from outside. Fuck me. Oh, my. It's not good. You're well, that's why we need security. You're running one hell of an establishment here, Theo. Shut the fuck up, Chef. Chef. <laughs> Maybe call you Chef now as well. Fuck me, I need a cigarette. Fucking shit hole, is Rouds. It's a fucking shit hole. Oh my. I don't know about you, little Penny, but I love seeing him get riled up. <laughs> I'm not sure I like him. I like him getting cross like that. <sighs> I don't know if he can handle the pressure around here. <laughs> really? Well, I sure hope he can. I can't do it by myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're all right, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. All right. I reckon, uh, I reckon I'm gonna... N not that I know of, no, I don't see him out there. Uh, no, no, I was gonna go out for a cigarette then. I thought, you know what, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna retire for the evening and have a, a cigarette in, in bed, actually. I've seen Mr. Johnson out on the porch. Surely he'd know where the horse ran off to. It's what me. He saw me on the porch. Mm, that's right. I don't know. Well, not Are you, you telling me to ask me? No way. What, what are you saying? You must have some sort of lead to where that horse ran off to. Is, is he talking about me to me? Um, I, I believe so. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go out to bed then. Alright, Penny, uh, you're going to be alright here? Yeah? 
Yes. All right. Uh, if Mr. Crawfish comes back, just apologise profusely. Possibly give him a complimentary drink if you if you've got enough there. All right. I will. Uh, yeah. I mean, try and push the uh, push the guest rooms and the food there, I suppose. Hmm. All right. You're done well today. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Hey. Good night, boys. Yeah, you take care. Of, well, you uh, sleep well, Theodore. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. Night, shit. Night, Theo. I'll see you bright and early. Bright and early. Early than you, York. Not far off uh, myself, actually. I think maybe uh, might uh, have a little walk around town, and maybe if I can't see that uh, fella's horse, I was thinking maybe I could try and help him out. But yeah, I'm feeling kind of uh, eyes getting heavy, you know. Oh uh, yes. Well, you seem to have done a lot of work today. Yeah, I mean, uh, more riding away from wolves by the by the feels of it, you know. But uh, at least I'm still here, so you know I got uh, got that to uh, to think on. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna retire myself. I think I'm just gonna head up over to uh, the little shacks over there behind the uh, the butcher's place and behind the uh, church over there and. Lay my head down. Oh, that's where you sleep? Mm. Yeah, I've, I've got an arrangement there with uh, a couple of friends of mine. So, uh, yeah, we uh, we use a place up there. It's better than staying oh. at my father's place, you know, over in Flatneck. And it's kind of a ride over there. It's getting dark and a little oh, bit stormy outside by, by the sound of things. So, mm. don't want to rush over, go over there too far too fast in the dark and maybe you know run into someone by accident or you yes, know worse or the uh, wolves. <laughs> yeah well exactly but yeah i don't see many of them around that sort of area but uh you never know sometime they uh they creep up on you mm. i intended on gambling my way into one of these rooms here at the saloon so <laughs> far i have not succeeded in that well, I'm sure, uh, you know, if, if Theodore's a sound sleeper, maybe you can, uh, maybe you could use one of the couches upstairs there. For, mm -hmm. If the worst comes to the worst, you know, and you looking for a room. I mean, there's some places up over, as I say, uh, you know, up behind the, uh, the church there. You ask someone kindly enough, they might uh, give you a room for the night. Well, I'm going to uh, going to retire anyway, and uh, hope that both of you uh, have a safe evening. You as well. Yeah, just uh, watch out for them locals around. Seem to be a few of them in an aggressive mood today. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was riding back into town, and uh, a couple of people, a couple of folks were looking at me funny, and one guy tried to stop me on on my horse on the way in and I was feeling a little bit like he was trying to intimidate me but uh, I just carried on riding but uh, yeah take uh, take care of yourselves and hopefully you I'll uh, I'll see you both tomorrow absolutely can't wait alright All right, you keep it up out there Cliff you make a name for yourself yeah, well, uh, that's the plan right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you you both take care, and I'll uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, I'm gonna go out the back if that's all right, Penny. Of course. I'll just uh, I'll just check that there's nobody there as well, you know. Very good. All right.
shut the door. Yeah, I was just getting to that point myself. Felt a little bit. Oh, dubs. <laughs> Might have to pass it over to um to uh, Kuda if he's streaming. I was just about to go uh, go to bed myself. What the hell's going on with this? I'm kind of um. <laughs> What Crawfish was saying about um, controlling those four horses is kind of right. Uh, we should have we should have got unlucky there. Actually, let's just go and get him. Um, but yeah, it's kind of right. Um, he was saying about the four horses being difficult to control and stuff. Like, um, I've already bought the stagecoach with the four horses on with the lock box. Um, I think I was saying earlier in your chat. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on not using it until um, I feel like enough time's passed for Cliff to have earned enough money to buy the thing. Um, so it's invested already, basically. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a little while before we uh, before we pull it out, and we're just going to do journeys for the time being on uh, Lucky here. But um, it's um, I might. I don't know. I might ask them about um, whether or not I can um, exchange exchange it for um, one of the ones with two. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm doing all right. I've been uh, traveling a little bit here. Yeah, is um, it would be a little bit annoying to uh, to keep having the front horses or whatever die every time you go along a, like a little pathway and stuff like that I just have to find all of the routes that aren't um, aren't particularly difficult to navigate if you see what I mean and not drive it like choppins or Sean <laughs> that's um that's the other thing they're okay once you're like once you're sort of aware of how long they are, but yeah, I'm gonna have to do a bit of practicing with uh, with it anyway, just so that we've got um, we've got it down and we don't go crashing when we're um, when we're driving customers and people around. But that would be the worst thing. Like we uh, we crash on the roads and then yeah, it's like well, <laughs> guess everyone's walking from here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, man. Thanks for um, thanks for dropping the host and um, and everything. But yeah, I'm just uh, I'm getting to that point myself. It's nearly twenty to twenty to four, and it just feels like uh, a good sort of time to uh, to call it. But yeah, it's been an interesting one. Um, today it was like uh. With Kuda's um, character Shep, um, it was like uh, let's just say chords here. Um, he's obviously playing it like quite spiky, if you see what I mean. Like his character's a little bit um, like standoffish, um, certainly with uh, with Cliff anyway. And I don't know if there's like reasoning for that, if you see what I mean. Um, like previous experiences and stuff, but we'll. We'll find out, I suppose, as we go along. But yeah, it, um, it was interesting how he's sort of playing it, and um, yeah, it feels like a little bit uh, like Cliff and Shep are going to have uh, not a butting of heads, maybe, but like just at some point, if uh, if things sort of continue, Cliff might feel like he's being sort of singled out for whatever reason, and um, you might ask him what the uh, what the deal is and stuff, but. Um, at the moment, we're um, we're just going to continue sort of doing our bits and deliveries and stuff like that, and yeah, we're gonna see what we can do and what we can earn over the next um, few days and and weeks, and then yeah, maybe in like two or three days, um, when I feel like we've earned enough money, if you see what I mean, for people to feel like yeah, he might have a hundred and something odd dollars to buy him himself a, a stagecoach by now because as I say we're not we're not gambling it away and we're not spending huge amounts of money on like food and supplies and stuff like that like that was the first beer I think that I've bought and we've got like twenty dollars or something in the bank at the moment um but yeah as I say we we bought the 
we bought the stagecoach um yeah a couple of days back and uh it's sort of sitting there in the background so it's not something that i have to grind for now i can take a bit more time <clears throat> with the rp and stuff with other people get to know their characters and everything and then uh see where we go from there and and whatnot but um it's kind of funny when i was when ship was asking about um coming with us to uh to valentine i was thinking like if it rains what's gonna happen <laughs> is he is there gonna be some sort of flashback and it did actually like rain on the way back over from Rhodes um, or back over to Rhodes from Valentine because we went by um, Emerald Ranch uh, just to see if you know it was anyone sort of that way because our the delivery that we did took us up to um, pretty much up to Cumberland Forest so we uh, we came back that way but yeah I'm just going to um, alt tab quickly so it's probably going to go black but um, we're um, just going to see if we can host anyone uh, if anyone's live so just bear with it it's just gonna go to a black screen for a minute um, uh, let's just see if anyone that I'm following is live I'm not sure if Kuda's playing tonight but if he is then we'll send you guys his way um, Bum, 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 bum. We could chuck Coolidge is obviously live. Um No Kuda's live as well, so we'll pop you over to Kuda watch the uh continuation. Um if I can copy and paste this, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's been a it's been another nice night of RP and uh, getting into things with um with some of the, uh, the characters that we've been meeting. That fight earlier as well was quite funny. I was <laughs> I was waiting for the moment that I hit T by accident <laughs> and then fucked up. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do raid. There we go. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and um, sorry everyone that's come over from Dubes. Um, but yeah, I was just starting to get to that point myself. I'm going to try and, as Doobie was saying, get on a little bit earlier. Um, and uh, yeah, see if we can't... Um, see if we can't get on for a bit longer, a bit earlier on, and um, have, uh, have a little bit more RP sort of earlier in the night and stuff. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys join me was as we head over to Cuda and um, say hello. And uh, yeah, we'll um, see how it goes in the next uh, next few days. <laughs>